All right, hi everybody. Here we are talking about our concert D scale. All right, so we're talking about our concert D scale, and this is for our uh, flutes, our oboes, our trombone, baritone, and tuba, along with our mallet percussion friends. All right, so this is the series. No, nope, let's try that again. Hi everybody, welcome back to another session with Strews. Here we are, we're talking about scales. This is a whole series about our scales. And this one is per uh, particularly involving our concert D scale, and this will be with the instruments of flute, oboe, trombone, baritone, tuba, and mallet percussion. All right, so here we are with our concert D scale. So first step is you need to make sure you take a look at your key signature because a lot of you are going to see things in there you're not used to seeing. All right, not only are you going to have one sharp, but you're going to have two sharps. And again, you're not used to seeing, um, let alone nothing in your key signature, but now you're dealing with not just one sharp like we dealt with previously in your concert G scale, but now you're dealing with two. So this is two sharps. So we're talking about our F sharp and our C sharp in your concert D scale. All right, so uh, let's take a look there. Remember, scales are a two-part process. First step is making sure you know what the scale is, the notes are that are in the scale. And then the second part is making sure that you can put the fingerings with those notes. All right, so let's go through and talk about what the notes are in the scale first because that's what you're going to need to know. All right, so again, we're, we're talking about the concert D scale. So that means you have to start with the first note of, hopefully you're all saying D. All right, then I've done my job as far as <laughs> making sure you know what the first note is. So you've got D, E, and realize we're talking E and nothing else added to that. So D, E, F sharp, there's your first sharp in your key signature, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and then you're up to D after that. So again, let's go, go through those notes again so that you know what the notes are going up, and then you're just going to know they're, they're the reverse order coming back down. So again, first note D because that's the scale note. E, F sharp because it's in your key signature. Then you're up to G, A, B, C sharp. Then you're up to D, coming back down. C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D. Now, those of you that play flute and oboe, you definitely have a two octave scale. So you've got the two octaves up, up, and then down, down. And then uh, those of you that are playing the, the mal percussion, again, same thing, two octave scale, no sweats, no worries. Those of you playing baritone and trombone, you can try to do the two octave scale. I think a couple of you should be able to do it. And if you find you can, awesome. If you find that, that you're having trouble with it, you better nail that one octave scale. And tuba, you better nail the one octave scale. Um, if you want to try to do two octaves, more power to you, uh, but I definitely by no means am I going to require that one. All right, so that, those are your, your basic understanding of what the scale is. Now it's your job to then take, learn those notes, put the fingerings with it. All right, so I wish you all the best. Uh, have any questions or problems, get in touch with me. Uh, but outside of that, happy practicing, everybody. We'll see you next time.